In this video, I'm going to show you a secret method to go real deep into YouTube to find sub niches with no competition so that you can use this method to sell an existing product and scale your business or in general build an extremely profitable YouTube channel. I've used this exact method to grow this YouTube channel from zero to making over $1 million a year, revived this dead YouTube channel that now makes $100,000 a month, this channel to $50,000 a month, and 20 plus other channels like this that I'm currently running right now. You see, right now there is a huge opportunity on YouTube because there's a ton of niches that are untapped and not being taken advantage of. The viewers that are watching videos in these niches pay extremely well, but the videos that currently exist in these niches are terrible YouTube videos. So there's this huge opportunity to come into these niches, even if you slightly know what you're doing, completely take over, get all of the views, and then convert those views into actual money. But first, there are two key pillars that you need for this to work. The first key pillar is that you need a validated product. This means the product should already be getting sales, it should already have proven demand around it, and it should already meet the needs and wants of the target market. In general, it should be a product that is proven to be a great product. Now, if you're a business owner, it's very likely that you already have this, which is great. If you don't have a validated product or one that's achieved product market fit yet, you either want to get to that stage and build a product that does reach product market fit or becomes validated, or you can partner with another the product that is already in that state. For example, you could partner with a software tool or a SaaS that already has a great customer base, they're only growing and they're proven to get great results for their customers. Now the second key pillar is that you need a good total addressable market. This is basically the total number of people that we could potentially sell our product to. And this is important because if our total addressable market is too small, then on YouTube it's going to be very hard to attract a ton of these customers. Some examples of markets that might not be optimal for YouTube may include logistics, supply chain, or location-specific markets where we're only targeting people from a specific location, for example, California. Now that we have that, we can find the sub-niches that can make us millions of dollars, and there are two steps you want to follow to be able to find them. Without this, we're likely to make zero dollars, never mind millions. And this is basically what every YouTuber misses out or doesn't do good enough, and it's market research. Basically, what this is, is understanding the audience on a very deep level. Without this, we have no idea where our target audience are on YouTube. We don't know what videos they're watching, what videos they want to watch, and so we don't know what videos we can make to actually attract them and convert them into paying customers. As the name says, market research is when we're going to research our market and our audience and find out everything about them. And by doing deep market research, this is what's going to give us the strongest foundation and knowledge that we then take into step two to find the best opportunities. Think about it this way. If there is one single thing that you don't know about your audience, that single insight could have been the thing that would have led to a great video idea that would have got thousands of views from your target audience and then converted into hundreds of customers. And that's just one single insight. Think about how many insights are missed from most YouTubers who don't do this phase deeply and therefore how much they're missing out on both in terms of views and in terms of revenue generated. When I say you need to go deep on this, I mean you need to spend hours researching about your audience. And there are lots of different things that we want to identify and research about our audience, such as demographics, attributes, interests, fears, desires, pains, problems, wants, needs, even how they think and where they hang out online. And those are just to name a few. We want to know our target audience so well that we can put ourselves in their shoes with exact accuracy. And to find these things, there are multiple ways you can go about it. You can look at social media on all the different platforms. You can look at web websites, blog posts, groups, you can use AI. And one of the best ways to do this is actually by speaking to them directly. You can get on calls with them and ask them the questions that you want to know the answers to. But the point is you don't want to move on from this step until you know everything. Don't cut corners in this step because as we go into step two, this is what's going to allow us to find the best opportunities. Now that we understand our target market, this is where things get juicy. In this next step, we are going to be taking advantage of an algorithm that's going to help us find all 
all of the best opportunities on YouTube. And if you follow this simple algorithm correctly, you will know exactly what videos you need to make to attract all of your target audience and convert them into paying customers. Let me explain how. Imagine you could see all of the videos that are going viral and all of the YouTube channels that are blowing up, but most importantly, exactly where your target audience is, what videos they are watching, and what videos do they want. Imagine you could see absolutely everything. How powerful do you think that would be for you to then be able to know what videos to make to get those people? You can see exactly where they are. Well, the thing is you can actually do this and it's by following an algorithm called depth first search. The depth first search algorithm is used to explore every single piece of data that is connected to one another. So this is how it works. As you can see on your screen right now, we're starting off at what's called a root node and the root node is basically the point of where you start. And in this case, that is A. And so after that, we explore the root node. We first explore the point that we are starting off at. So we're going to explore A. And after we've explored A, we are going to meet new data points, new nodes, in this case, B and G. And so we now have the option to explore both of these. But first, we're only going to explore one of them. So we explore B, the next data point. And then when we've explored B, we've identified three new data points, as you can see, C, D, and E. So first, we're going to explore C. But after exploring C, we find that there are no new data points after we've explored C that we've encountered. So we're going to backtrack to B and then go to D. And the same happens for D. There are no new data points. But when we go to E and we visit E and we explore that data point, we actually have another new data point, which is F. So we explore F. We find that there are no new data points at F. And so we backtrack all the way back to the root node, which is A, and we then explore G, right? You notice how at the start, we didn't explore G. We first went to B and then went further and we went as deep as we possibly could, as far as we could. And then when we couldn't go any further, we backtracked one step and then repeated that process. And this is what the depth first search is. So we've explored G and then we explore H. And now we have successfully explored every single node in the tree. This is an algorithm that is used in lots of different areas. For example, in computing, it is used to explore every single piece of data. But we can also use this on YouTube to explore every single area and corner of YouTube that would be valuable to us and that will tell us exactly what videos we need to make to attract our target audience and then convert them into paying customers. Let me show you a live example of me using this. So as always, we start on the YouTube homepage and the first step is picking a root node. The root node that I'm going to start with in this example is going to be drop shipping and another one might be e-commerce. And the reason why I'm going to pick that is because in this example, I'm going to be selling a product to e-commerce business owners and drop shippers. So that is my market, drop shipping. And straight away, I want to be studying and recording these data and insights. And even if it means noting it down so that I remember it, if it's important information, I'm going to do that. So we can see this channel here, Mikey again, easiest way to start drop shipping in 2024. Now this video here doesn't look like it's a major outlier, 47,000 views six days ago, 100,000 subscribers. So clearly it's not a big performer for him, but we can check out his channel. So now we are exploring one layer deeper. So if you go to his channel and maybe we can have a look around and see his most popular videos, I built this dropship store in two weeks to prove it's not luck. Okay, so that's another data point there. And we would go to this video and maybe down the side of the bar here, we would get recommended more videos that are also doing extremely well. So this one here is interesting. I made $150,000 dropshipping as a noob reality. And the reason why that's interesting is because I've never seen a video like that before in the dropshipping niche. So I'm able to identify that. But if you're new to this niche, then you know, you're going to want to go through each of these. And this is the truth of it is that it is long, but this is what's going to give you the best possible knowledge of where the opportunities are on YouTube. I can see that this YouTube channel that has 500 subscribers has got 11,000 views on this video. So this is a big data point because it's got quite an interesting format. It didn't look like all the other dropshipping videos, yet it has succeeded massively. And then you want to begin to study why this video did well and get those unique insights because chances are you could use some of the things that this guy is used to succeed massively and apply it to your own channel to attract your target audience. So let's go to his channel and we can see that all of his other videos are getting nowhere near as much attention as that one did. But I've had a little look around his channel and I don't think there's any more insights that I can really get from this. So I'm going to backtrack a step. So we can look down the sidebar again and see if there's any interesting videos here. But I'm seeing video that's not really related to dropshipping or e-commerce. And I've got videos, you know, here about AI, Andrew Huberman. These don't seem very relevant to the dropshipping side of things. So I'm going to backtrack. So I'm back on Mikey again and on this sidebar, I might click 
click on one of these videos, like the 400,000 view one, because that's another major outperformer. This one here got 300,000 views. This one here got 400,000 views. And I'd be studying whilst going through this, why these videos actually succeeded. Not just the title and the thumbnail, but the video itself. And after going through so far, you're already going to get such a good grasp on the niche. So for example purposes, let's say I've explored all of Mikey Again's videos and channel, and then also any avenues that that led me down after consuming that. So we've explored that entire avenue, and now we've gone back to the root node so we can continue our search. Beginner's Guide to Dropshipping in 2024. 600,000 views by Jordan Welch, 1.5 million subscribers. Could be an interesting data point, but really it's not a major outlier and it's quite a generic video. Beginner's Guide to Dropshipping in 2024, 18 plus hours. Now that interests me. What has he done here that has succeeded so, so well? 3 million views. That is a huge outlier on his channel and it's probably blowing up his entire channel. 30,000 views, 20,000 views, 13,000 views. You got 100,000 views on this one, but this isn't really about dropshipping. But that video is an extreme outlier on this channel. And straight away, because I already have an existing knowledge of YouTube, I know the primary reason for why this has done well. As you can see, the video is 18 hours long. There has never been a video in the dropshipping market that has been that long and that well executed. If we watch the video, you'll see it's very high quality, very well put together, and it's all valuable. Somebody can go to that video and learn everything they need to know about dropshipping and better than anywhere else. If they consume these videos, sure, they would get some information and they would be entertained as well. But this video is about straight value. Anybody who really cares about learning about dropshipping can go to this video and it's their one-stop shop. Hence why the video has got 3 million views. Clearly, people like this video. So that is a very interesting data point. And what I would be potentially analyzing there and noting down is the reason why I think this video did well was because the video was value oriented and it was very long. So after doing a bit more digging, I found this format is very prominent in the dropshipping niche, which supports what I just said. Everybody is making these videos that are very entertainment focused and they aren't doing very well. You can see two years ago, the channel Bia Heza has had massive success with this and it seems like everybody's modeling off his videos, but people aren't succeeding as well now as what Bia Heza used to succeed with this. And we're seeing the best of this format right now as well. On the other hand, after doing some more research, I found this channel here, which the videos look a lot more raw and they're just perceived to be more value orientated. And we can see that if we sort by most popular, some of his videos have done extremely well, huge numbers. This video here got 800,000 views and look at the title and thumbnail. The title's very messy, it's very long. The thumbnail looks very quickly put together and not the highest quality, but that's what makes it work. $1.2 million in 30 days is very, very remarkable. And because the thumbnail's thrown together like an amateur, it makes you believe in the claim more. It makes you really believe that you're gonna learn how he made $1.2 million in 30 days and how to design a one product Shopify store that can do that. And it goes for the same with all these other different videos as well. And I just found this channel here through doing even more research. It's the same thing for him. A lot of these videos that have done extremely well have a very different aesthetic and feel to it. In comparison to those dropshipping challenge videos that we just saw before, it's a lot more raw, authentic and homemade and amateur. So this is telling me that by going against the grain in this market of what's common, which is these entertainment based videos, whether it be a dropshipping challenge, or whether it be a dropshipping guide, providing deep value with a unique feel to it and an authentic feel to it might be the opportunity in this market. And of course, I would be going super deep into this. I would be looking through all these videos that have succeeded massively and understanding why they've done well. Because for example, that Andrew Yu channel, his most popular video was how to design a one product store. And one of the most popular videos from this guy is how I design one product stores using AI. So maybe there's a lot of attention around one product stores that we'd want to leverage there. And I just continuously go down these avenues until I've explored literally everything. So here are the actionable steps to carry out the depth first search on YouTube. First, identify all of the root nodes. You want to explore all of your niche, sub niches, adjacent niches, which are niches that are similar and have a similar audience, then bigger and broader niches that maybe your sub niche is within. So for example, e-commerce and dropshipping is within the business niche and that's a bigger niche. And in general, YouTube as a whole. This is part of the reason why market research in step one is so important because it makes identifying all of these root nodes and avenues to go down a lot easier. Then typically I like to start off with the main niche which contains the people that we're selling to. And then straight away we're hit with numerous data points that we can explore and get insights from. Now when carrying out a depth first search on YouTube, there are obviously lots of things that we're looking out for, but there are three key components that we want to find and study. The first is outlier videos, formats, and channels. So what an 
outlier is is like this video here for example where he got 3 million views with currently only 200,000 subscribers but when he made this video it would have been a lot less an outlier channel would be perhaps a brand new or new ish channel that is blowing up and their videos are doing extremely well despite them being a new channel and outlier formats are formats that have been used multiple times and produced outliers so for example we have this long course video that was an outlier in the niche dropshipping but then if we go to this channel for example which is in an entirely different niche specifically the social media marketing agency niche you can see that one of the biggest outliers on his channel recently is this course here which is funny enough 12 hours long and it is clearly a massive outlier on his channel recently and there are tons of these outlier formats on youtube but you can't identify them if you don't do enough research and you do the best research by using the depth first search algorithm the next thing is supply and demand demand referring to the number of people that want a particular video and supply being the number of videos that exist around that particular thing so again in this case we can see that there is a huge amount of demand around these value orientated videos in the dropshipping niche but we can see that the majority of the supply right now is around these entertainment based videos in the dropshipping niche so there might be a supply and demand discrepancy there where there is demand up here for these value orientated videos with a ton of value but the supply of videos that are value orientated with a ton of value is down here because everybody's making these entertainment type videos that are shorter and less valuable. So by identifying that, we can then start to understand what videos we can make to supply to the very high demand where there is not much supply. And the third component is trends, which is when something is rising significantly in demand and the supply can't keep up. So demand's going like this and the supply's going like this and the demand's just going really high. And if you can time this right, then you can really get a lot of views from your ideal customers and talk audience very easily if you make a good video an example of this related to the dropshipping and e-commerce niche is tiktok shop recently tiktok launched a new feature called tiktok shop where people can make a lot of money selling products directly through tiktok and we can see that channels are getting a lot of views making videos around this topic and we can dive into this and really assess where the opportunity is but the point is is that tiktok shop is the trend and our target audience's eyes are on it so we can leverage the trend to attract our target audience and then convert them through our video into paying customers after you've explored every corner of your niche and the sub niches within it if you haven't already what you then want to go ahead and do is explore all of the adjacent and bigger niches as well and repeat the entire process for them it's possible that you've already done this through doing the depth first search in your niche and through the sub niches because it may have potentially led you to those niches anyway but for example for e-commerce slash dropshipping i'd want to explore adjacent niches such as paid advertising and landing pages and explore bigger niches like business and this is so that you can see what's working in all of these different niches because insights in these different niches are also extremely valuable to your niche. So for example, this video here generated well over six figures single-handedly just from this video. And this channel we took from being basically a dead YouTube channel to making over $45,000 a month directly attributed to his YouTube channel. So actually a lot of the sales and a lot of the revenue isn't being accounted for there. That is purely indirectly attributable revenue. And we did all of that in just four months. So how do we take a dead YouTube channel that wasn't making anything and in four months later making $45,000 a month at least. Well, it was from videos like this where yes, they generated six figures single-handedly. Yes, they're ranking at the top of YouTube search for the search term e-commerce and you know highly for drop shipping and they're still getting 750 views a day or a thousand views every single day, 200 plus days later. But it's actually the fact that we engineered the success of this video using the depth first algorithm. Let me show you how we did it. Just as I showed you initially, we started off with a root node, which was dropshipping. And we didn't actually have to go very far before we started to gain insights that allowed us to lead to the decision of making that video that you just saw. So we started to see all of these videos that were these entertainment, low value type videos that were more targeted towards the mass markets, which was a more immature audience that probably has less money. They're younger as well. So it's more targeted towards the younger audience 
audience and the younger demographic. And overall, it's a lower quality audience. But we were seeing that there were so many videos of this as well. As I just went through, there were just tons of these videos that all look the same with the Shopify dashboard that's clearly fake on the phone. To any person who's a high value viewer, who's a more mature audience, maybe they've got a nine to five job, they've got a lot of money, you know, maybe they've run their own business before. They are not clicking on this. The people who are clicking on this are kids. But the thing is, is with this channel that we were partnered on, what we sell of validated product with a great total addressable market was basically a program that teaches people how to scale an e-commerce business, specifically a high ticket e-commerce business. And the people who we were seeing come through that program, getting the best results, spending the most money, closing at the highest rate and converting into a customer at the highest rate were all people who were from a nine to five job. They did have cash in the bank. They were also an older audience in the 30 to 40s range, if not above, which contrasted a lot from the type of people who would consume these videos. So from all of this, this is when I constructed the idea that maybe this audience that we want to attract, maybe they aren't being provided and supplied videos that they demand on YouTube right now. I continued with the depth first search approach and what I started to find was that there was just so many of these entertainment focused videos, but there were barely any videos that I was finding that were the more value orientated videos. And so I didn't really have many data points to go off on whether people definitely wanted these videos. So after exploring the entire niche and sub niches within it, that is when I moved on to the bigger niche. And the reason why this was then valuable was because I identified certain key insights that changed everything, confirmed that I was correct in my prediction and thesis that these more value oriented videos would succeed massively was correct and therefore allowed us to create this video with the utmost confidence to generate well over six figures single handedly and make other videos like this that did the exact same thing that led to this channel scaling to $45,000 plus a month in four months. So what I did was I went to the bigger niche which was business in this case and I performed the depth first search approach on this niche and studied the videos that were performing extremely well and not just the videos but the channels and two of the channels that I identified as the ones that were succeeding the most, growing the fastest and blowing up was Layla Homozi and Alex Homozi. These two YouTube channels were by far two of the fastest growing channels in the business niche and it wasn't for no reason. So what I wanted to do was I then wanted to study the videos that they were creating that were driving this growth. So I went an extra layer deeper in the depth first search and I found this video here by Layla Homozi. If I was starting a company in 2024, this is what I do, full zero to $100 million guide. And this video has achieved 600,000 views to date and is a 10x outlier in comparison to her other videos. So then what I did after identifying it, I began to study it to get the key insights that I needed that would hopefully help me in my decision whether to make those value oriented videos in the dropshipping niche. And it did that. What I found was that the reason why this video succeeded was because it was a heavily value oriented video, not just in terms of the video itself, but also the packaging of the video, the title and the thumbnail. If I was starting a company in 2024, this is what I do, full zero to $100 million guide. The full zero to $100 million guide. That is a direct value oriented phrase. It's also quite direct as a title. You know, there's no clickbait around it. It's simply, if I was starting a company in 2024, this is what I do. So anybody within that range, they could attract. And it's a very promising value proposition and claim that they're making. So then it's about, okay, they've got the attention of people, but how are they going to get them to click? And the reason why this was so successful at getting people to click was because we have this really big claim paired with the fact that the claim is very believable because of the way it's packaged. For example, in the thumbnail, you can see that it's quite a raw thumbnail. It's not like these other clickbaity thumbnails and definitely not like in the dropshipping niche where you have the phone with the Shopify dashboard that clearly looks fake with millions of dollars on it. It's not like that at all. It's a very authentic phrase. And in fact, it's actually given a little bit of value and sparking a bit of curiosity. You don't need money. So that sparks the interest of people. And it's just her at the desk in a kitchen with a bit of money on the table. And that's the thumbnail. And people can also see that the video is 30 minutes long before they even click on it, which hints towards of it being that value oriented nature. And when they watch the video, it is valuable. It's 30 minutes long of straight value on how you could start a company in 2024 and scale it from wherever you are at right now, scale it all the way to $100 million. It really does fulfill on the expectation set in the title and thumbnail, which leaves viewers very satisfied. And as a result, they like the video, they comment on the video, they share the video, they watch the video all the way through, they subscribe to the channel, they give YouTube every signal that would point towards the video being a great video, which results in YouTube pushing that to a ton.
ton more people. And all of those insights and information that I got from studying that video was what gave me the confidence, but also the information that I needed to be able to produce this video here. I created this video idea, how to build an e-commerce business in 2024 from zero to $1 million. As you can see, a very similar title format to the video that I just showed. In this case, it's from zero to $1 million instead of a hundred million because $1 million is the more defined dream outcome of his target audience. Very value oriented, very straightforward, how to build an e-commerce business in 2024. In the thumbnail, instead of using some Shopify dashboard on the phone that really looks fake, instead we got a very professional shot of Brooke in a lovely setting, like a really nice background that looks very professional, very high quality. And this here on the side being one of the main components, the e-commerce dashboard, but instead of it being on a phone, it's a projection of what he sees on his screen. And it looks way more realistic. It looks more professional. It stands out more. And as a whole, the title and thumbnail make the viewer perceive the video to be of way higher value than any of these other videos, making those viewers click on this video instead. And through watching the video, they get a ton of value. They're satisfied. And YouTube recommends that to more of our target viewers, whilst the ones who are watching are also converting in the back end and bringing us in this money. And as you can see, it's generated $4,000 in YouTube AdSense. That's great. But also, as I said, in back end sales, it's generated well over six figures, which is really where the money is made. And this is how you can start to come up with video ideas scientifically that you know have the potential to reach thousands of your ideal customers and then actually convert them through a single video, just like the one I just showed you. Because you understand your audience, you'll be able to spot if your market isn't being supplied something that you know that they want, and you'll actually be able to study and make sense of why certain videos and channels are blowing up and going viral within your market and not only reverse engineer that, but also how to figure out how to do even better than they did with your own videos. And then most importantly, you'll have an extremely sharp and good awareness of what's going on across the entirety of YouTube. You'll know all of the best outlier formats. You'll know all of the new channels that are blowing up and what they're doing to blow up. You'll know exactly where all of the supply and demand is distributed in these different markets and where the discrepancies are of high demand and low supply. You will be aware of all of the trends going on and the ones you can capitalize on. And in general, you have everything that you need to come up with the best video ideas that are going to beat your market that nobody in your niche has. Now you know how to find these sub niches. Click on this video here if you want to learn exactly how to come up with the best video ideas. I go into depth on the exact strategy I use to scale YouTube channels from zero to over $1 million a year and sometimes over $100,000 per video. Check it out.